Hey guys, it's Vera Sweetie from Lady in the Blog, and I'm gonna make chicken noodle soup really quick and easy. It's not the way your grandmother makes it. I probably get this done in about 20, 25 minutes and everybody's eating and that's just the way I like it. So you need two pots going. You need one for your macaroni and then you need one for everything else. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna chop up our chicken and get it diced up really, really small into small chunks and get that in the pan. Now that we've washed our hands, we're just gonna salt and pepper the chicken because we pretty much salt and pepper every single layer that goes into our dish. So while we have the chicken going, I have another pot that just has water boiling for the macaroni. Um, I'm doing both of these things simultaneously because I'm trying to save time and I normally have about 25 to 30 minutes to get everything ready at once. So now, while the chicken is browning, I'm going to start to chop the vegetables. The first thing that I do is I usually buy um, crushed garlic from the freezer aisle. There's no chopping, there's no peeling, there's nothing. You just sort of take two of these squares and call me in the morning. I am, I love this. You just peel it back pop two squares out, and then um, put it right back in the freezer. We have some baby carrots. I just sort of chop them maybe two or three ways, try to get them a little bit smaller. I probably put a third of the bag in. I'm just sort of lining everything up, and then I go in. I mean, you can get one, two, three chops through, and then you throw everything into your pot. I know when you're watching cooking vlogs, they're always like, oh, put the onions last and don't forget about the celery. The celery is the last thing. I don't do that. I just throw everything together. I don't have time for this. So again, another super secret of mine is I get diced yellow onion and I just throw it all in the whole entire lot. Don't chop. I don't chop. Now onto the celery. Let me give this a quick rinse. Celery is, um, one of the vegetables that you absolutely have to make sure that you are rinsing 100% and then you want to just pull it apart and make sure um, there's not any bugs or anything inside because the, the crevices definitely keep to... See, I, I just washed this and look what's still inside. I mean, that's dirt. So we have to give it another round too really quickly. With the celery, I just sort of rough chop again. Everything I do is a rough chop. I've added my second layer, which is my vegetables. I'm going to salt and pepper again. And this time I'm gonna add some herb seasoning. So this is um, Herb de Provence. It's from Trader Joe's. I put it on everything. Everything, literally everything. I cannot think of one thing I do not put this on. Other recipes will be like half a teaspoon of thyme, a quarter teaspoon of parsley. I just do a couple of spoonfuls of this. All right, let's give it a look-see. So the water is just about to boil. I got some macaroni. Normally I want the smaller um, pasta, but this was the smallest one that Trader Joe's had today. So I'm going with this. And as you can see, I cook it separately and I leave it separately. I never combine the pasta and the chicken noodle soup, even when I store it. I keep the pasta separate from the soup because if you put everything together, what ends up happening is the pasta absorbs all the liquid and um, you end up losing your soup. So keep your pasta separate. Even after you drain it, do not dump it in. I know that's something that we always tend to do. We always tend to try to combine. But um, I find that it's just simpler and easier to keep the two dishes separate. And as you're serving, I'll show you what that looks like towards the end. But right now, let's get the pasta in the water. Thank you. 
All right, now we're up to chicken broth. So I just used two boxes, two quarts, throw them in after I've given the chicken some chance, chance to brown. You want to make sure that your pasta is al dente and you want to cover this soup and let it cook for at least 15 minutes or so. So I'm just going to leave that alone, take some time to clean up the kitchen and get my pasta out of the water. And by the time I have everything cleaned and ready in the kitchen, I'll be ready to serve the soup and show you what that looks like. All right, remember you wanna keep your pasta separate. Do not add this to your soup, just leave it to the side. All right, I gave the soup enough time to boil. I'm gonna turn it off, pick up my pot. You can see it's boiling, beautifully boiling. So I give myself a heaping spoonful with lots of liquid. And then I just take a little spoonful of pasta. And there you have chicken noodle soup. Now you could add lemon or you could add um, Parmesan cheese. That's entirely up to you. But this is a really easy quick night. I just want to get something home cooked, fresh and delicious on the table for my kids. I make this all the time. Chicken noodle soup ready to go. I have some bread to serve on the side and dinner served. Now what do you think of the soup? I think that this soup is the, my favorite meal that you make. Oh boy, just slap that right on. So thick. So thick. Like homemade meal. This is the best bread in the world. Mom, what do you think of your soup? I